So one of the things as a fumigation company, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not here to sell you scrubbers. I'm telling you as a fumigator, I'm trying to protect myself down the road so I can still stay in business and make payroll on Friday afternoon. And one of the ways that I believe that that's going to happen is that we're going to have to learn how to scrub our gases and destroy them at some point in time. And this is designed for methyl bromide specifically, but also for sulfuryl fluoride, not for phosphine. It's a liquid that's bubbled in through there, and then it's, it comes in and it's destroyed. This is our lab bench. This is methyl bromide being released through a solution. And you notice as it reached the, hot, the top of the column, it's basically destroyed. Sulfuryl fluoride, profume. As you can see here, the column is about twice the size. You have two fluorine atoms, so one bromine atom, so you have to destroy the, uh, the uh, uh, two atoms of fluorine. And over the course of about 20% uh, percent longer, uh, it will then destroy sulfuryl fluoride. If you notice the Spectros, the detection equipment, which is wired up to the top of that, you can see that the concentration coming out of the top is zero parts per million. Now we came back this year, and this is new information, as we went down to Miami and we wanted to know if these flowers and vegetables that are coming in under refrigeration, if we scrubbed it, would it have an effect on raising the temperature to a point that then it would ruin or destroy the vegetables uh, or cut flowers. So we then had an input that was slow enough in an open system. Our readings were about 40 degrees above freezing. So in this, the scrubbing unit attached the fumigant, uh, exhausted out the ambient, and at no point uh, was it uh, not recirculated back into the trailer itself. And these are the temperatures that you have, and it did not affect that over about a 60 hour period of time, 60 minute period of time. Now let's turn it back on its closed loop where we take the gas, bring it back in on itself, and find out if we can then recirculate whatever, maybe fraction of a, of a, of a, a part per million that would go back through there. And as you can see, and this has been presented in several uh, scientific uh, meetings uh, in the chamber over 60 minutes, and it's just about staying the same. So we're okay on the refrigeration systems as far as scrubbing goes.